Come join Libby, Molly, and Tiffany, the ladies of Consignment Chats, where we talk about all things consignment. Hey, everyone. Welcome to episode 18 of Consignment Chats. So today, we're going to talk a part two section on inventory management. Last episode, we talked about inventory management as far as your paperwork on that, your spreadsheets, whether you're going to use that or you're going to use um, pay for a platform. Today, we're going to talk about the actual physical storing of those items and where you're going to put those. So, hey, ladies, are y'all ready to chat? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And I have some news. You got news? Oh, my gosh. Oh, share. I like news. Share, share. So I sold a pair of shoes yesterday. And when I was going to print out the label, it said, I don't well, I don't know if I want to give the name away, but it said something productions, mm. bungalow five costumes. And it was going to Georgia. So I did a Google. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like they're making a movie about first ladies. It's called first ladies. Uh-huh. And that's where it's going. It's being filmed in that town in Georgia. And I was like, oh my gosh, this, my shoes are going to be in a movie about first ladies. <laughs> that's awesome. What kind of shoes were they? They're black um, pumps. They're Vanelli. Vanelli. Van- mm-hmm. And they're suede pumps. And they look kind of vintage, like retro. Like, you know, they, mm-hmm. could, they could do a couple different time periods because they're doing, I think this movie I read was about covering lots of different first ladies not just one so Mm -hmm. they're doing different time periods so they're suede black suede with a little cross strut but on the top and i was like well that is so fun oh oh, that's so exciting so i wrote the i wrote the consigner an email and i sent it um and um it was actually the one i had lunch with yesterday (laughs) and i wrote and I wrote her and I was like, um, we have to watch this movie. <laughs> Look at your shoes. We've been watching all the feet throughout the whole right? movie. Right? So when the movie comes out, we all need, you need to remind us so we can all watch and yeah. find them in the movie. Yeah. That's so, so was, cool. That's yeah. awesome. I love when stuff like that happens. Like, yeah. It is, so it is so much fun to find out like where your stuff is going. And especially if it's going to be on like a, a TV show or a movie. So cool. Yeah. So cool. Mm-hmm. And I love because, the, like you said, you tell the consigners and how neat is that for them to know yeah. that they're, you know, that's a real cool way to repurpose your items. So mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Hey, y'all, remember episodes back? I just threw out a random question for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking today might be a good day for another one. It's a light one. It's just a fun Mm -hmm. one. But I think throwing out these little fun questions every now and then just kind of gives people a a deeper look at us as people. So as long as you're answering too. Oh, no, I don't count. I'm just kidding. Here it is. Here it is. All right. And I'm going to start with, I don't know who wants it first. Before I put it out there. I'll take it. Go ahead. Let me get it over. All right. Libby's going to answer first. Okay. (laughs) My question is. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Oh, that's so. Oh my gosh! Wow. Ah. Dang. Um, (laughs) I didn't know it was going to be that hard. I'd probably go ahead. Oh gosh! If I wasn't worried about flooding and hurricanes, I'd love to live like somewhere on the beach, warmer, maybe like North South Carolina. kind of thing I'd like to go I'd like to be in North Carolina because I like the um I like the weather there and I like the fact that there's a little bit of season change um but I would like to live you know near a body of water and I would like to um be able to boat and enjoy like water sports and things like that with the kids yeah so awesome Mm -hmm. how about you Tiff I know I know where Tiffany's is actually we talk about this a lot so well, we have my husband and I. So um, our dream was good to go to Maine. Um, oh. We've always wanted to be in Maine, yeah. and he, we always he well if we had unlimited funds, it would be on um, Mount Desert Island, which is where Hilton where uh, Bar Harbor is. I was going to say Hilton Head. That's not right. That's where I grew <laughs> up in South Carolina. That's an <laughs> island too, but it's not. Yeah. Um. So 
where it's where Bar Harbor is and in um, Acadia National Park and everything. And we'd want to be on the water, but with like woods behind the house. So on the water in the woods. Nice. Very specific. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't have this mapped out at all. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait a minute, because I just think I'm totally changing and I might just be moving with you. Yeah. Because we're not afraid <laughs> of cold. We actually like prefer the cold to the hot. So we would not go south. We would go. Um, all know. right. I totally wouldn't go north. I totally wouldn't go north. I'm over this. I, I don't do know. cold, but I love, I think the main area, I have not been, it's been on my dream list. We were going to go one year and had to cancel. So it is on our bucket list to get up there. But I watch videos all the time on it. And look, I just think it's gorgeous, but it's the cold that gets me. I can't mm -hmm. do it. Not I, full time. I'm fine. You put me inside in front, working inside with it. The fireplace, I'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> so for me, I choose Costa Rica. Oh my. Wow. Nice. I want to live water, eco friendly. I just want to live that relaxed life. So mm. that's me. Would you be able to ship like your eBay packages? For oh, you? sure. Yeah. No okay. problem. Oh. Not a problem. <laughs> okay with it then. <laughs> Costa Rica is where I want to go. I'm going to pick my mangoes out of the tree and eat them on my porch with my toucan. So <laughs> have you ever been? I have not. I have a friend who wants us to come. Um, one of my friends that owns a development, he's actually mm -hmm. doing an eco-friendly development out there. Um, my brother went several times. Poppy went several times and Nick has family there. So we talk about it all the time. Oh, wow. That's my dream. I just want to go there and never come back. Stay. I miss you. Oh my goodness. You could come see me. True. True. So uh, maybe I'll switch mine to Costa Rica. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe I mean, you, you got your body of water. It's, yeah. it's warm. It's and warm. And my good friend Sherry lives in Maine. So Sherry, I'll be coming. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So. Well, I have a question for you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. Um, did Molly approve this? No, I didn't know about this. <laughs> no, it's a we're three equal partners. I can do what I want. That's right. <laughs> nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody's always doing these Zoom things and, you know, you only see the top, right? You don't see the bottom. Or, you know, mm -hmm. the I just am curious, what are you wearing on your feet right now? Oh. If anything. <laughs> oh, no, Molly's going to show us. Molly's going to do a visual. I'm not doing a visual. <laughs> the feet are bare, kids. <laughs> yes. The feet are bare. Total bare feet. Love I do not it. wear shoes unless I absolutely have to. I can't stand them. I'm a flip flop girl when I leave the house. <laughs> and well, I I have fuzzy slippers on because my feet tend to get really cold. <laughs> okay, I need to see your fuzzy slippers. All right, come on. I'm gonna take, I'll take it off and hold it up. Just fuzzy slippers. <laughs> oh, Ooh, those look, look cozy. cozy. I have and a pair. Oh, this is actually that. really hot because there's actually a heating pad on the floor that keeps. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're moving here. to Maine. Okay, fuzzy slipper. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> when you know how to prepare your workspace like that, you can yeah. live in Maine. She's That's got true. it covered. That's true. Well, for yeah. some reason, my calves, like my calves, and you know, are, get cold all the time. So this heating pad under there just radiates heat up on my feet and my calves, and nice. I, I just have to. I have to have that. I. That's how I work. See, and Libby, you, you call me really princess, Libby. You call me <laughs> princess? Come on. I think somebody else is hitting the princess. Hit the princess for once. <laughs> hey, you right. got to do what you got to do to be productive, right? <laughs> right? So this was a fun start to episode 18. So it's going to get even more... Um, creative now, more interesting, I think. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut off and each one of us is going to do a home video showing you our storage space and where and how we store our items for our business. So you guys take a peek and enjoy and we'll come back as soon as you're done watching. I got to get my shoes on before we do that because I have to go outside. <laughs> That's right. You're going outside. I'm, I can Me stay too. barefoot. Me too. I got to go outside too. All right. Y'all enjoy and we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So it all starts with a freshly photographed item. And what we do is we take this off. Okay. And we print the barcode. So we go on to our system. We have the bags ready and... 
let's print that label. Now, normally I would be doing this in batches, but just want to show you the general process. We tape this on the front of the bag, and this is the actual bag that we will ship in. And then we fold the item up, and I will place it in the bag, and then I'll show you where it goes. All right, our bag's all labeled. It is barcoded, and it's in the system that identifies whose it is, when it was taken in, and all that good stuff. So let's go on a journey with this package. You guys ready for the wild ride? Okay, so here we go. I just happen to have, oh, there's some inventory waiting to go upstairs and be filed away, so let's go. Okay, you can see here I have shoes that are boxed and barcoded. And let's continue our journey on up. We are going up to a partially finished attic, and this is where I do all my work. Okay, this is the shipping room. Okay, so let me set that package down. I'm gonna just go over here and wanna quickly show you the jewelry. So I have it all sorted by type, and let's pull this one box down. And it is tie clasps and cufflinks, so they're all in here. And everything is in a baggie and barcoded. Okay, and that's how I do the jewelry. So, let's grab our package, because I'm going to show you how this is stored. This is the clothing inventory room. Yes, it looks a little bit crazy but it's very organized. Okay, everything is sorted by gender. This is our men's section, and then size. So you can see here, that's men's tops, 2XL. Then we have our shorts and pants, and everything is bagged and ready to ship. Okay, handbags, we have a lot of handbags. And let's file this. This is a large women's shirt. So we're gonna go over here to our women's section and we're gonna file this with the other large women's shirts. Over here, we have children's. We have women's pants and up top there, we have some sleepwear, some lingerie, some maternity, and there's our pants. Now, behind this other rolling rack, you can see we really maximize space here, right? <laughs> are two custom built industrial strength clothing racks. So they hold all the things that we don't wanna put into a bag while they await shipping. So coats, a lot of formal wear, that sort of thing. Okay, so I showed you the shipping room, the inventory room. This is my home goods area. There's also some extra boxes in here. Okay, so I have everything laid out. As you can see, this is an unfinished attic in this part. I have everything laid out like this and custom built shelving to go around the air conditioning vents. And everything is laid out this way so I can see it easily because there is a lot of different items and I need to be able to e easily uh, visually identify the item. So I'm gonna take you around the bend here And yes, we are getting down into the nitty gritty. So this, this is all the artwork and framed items. The lighting section. We have um, china labeled in boxes and glassware. Oh, and we have a ghost in the attic. <laughs> All right, he was here since we moved in and we just thought it was so funny there was a ghost in the attic. We never moved on. He just hangs around, literally. Okay, and this is all set up because you can see the walls are sloped. So we have the knee walls here and um, things are laid out this way. It might look a little messy, but they're laid out this way so I can easily look down and see exactly what is in each bin.
Okay, so here we are at the lovely barn. And this is where I keep furniture. And we get a little creative with the storage. There's my old storefront sign. And this is like a treasure trove in here. I just love it. I love having an old barn and coming in here. And uh, it's a great little storage area. So because these items are unique, I don't necessarily have to barcode them. They're tagged in the system. We just arrange them based on what people are um, picking up in the very near future. And we're constantly moving things around out here. So. That's about it. Hi guys, this is Tiffany. This is my inventory shed. Let's go take a look. So, I used to keep all my inventory inside in our smallest bedroom. It was really tiny and I'd say probably, well, maybe in a year, year and a half, I quickly outgrew that bedroom and we had to buy this shed. It's a 12 by 28 shed, so it's pretty big, but we're already running out of room in here. So I will take you on a little tour. My, my husband built me this cute little workstation. Just to, I've got some accessories, tape and markers up here. If I wanted to do shipping from out here, I could, except for printing the labels because we don't have electricity out here, but we have run a cord in the past, but we're working on it. We're working on electricity, but these are my bins. This is the first shelf. As you can see, all the bins are numbered and they correspond to the spreadsheet that I showed you last in last week's episode. So when you open the bin, every item, has the number on it that also corresponds to the spreadsheet. The bins go down here. The next row is, continues over here. It's a little dark back here because we don't have great lighting back here. But we have a third section down here. And then all of this, this whole section right here, all this stuff is shipping materials. I have a ton of boxes. Like I've mentioned before, I don't, I'm not a big USPS boxes fan because I like to reuse and recycle. So I, everyone gives me boxes. Everyone I know gives me boxes, all their empty boxes. So I keep all of them. I have a whole bunch more down here. Um, and then I have little boxes here and packing materials. I have three huge bags of air pillows for breakable items. So that's that, and then over here, it's hard, to, it's hard to see here, but I have this whole shelf, huge shelf, which is mostly full of unlisted inventory. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention, but this up here in the loft is just our personal Christmas decorations because they have to go somewhere. <laughs> so let's back it on up. The last shelf, shelf is over here. Well, it's not the last shelf. It's the last shelf that's built is here. And then we've expanded past that. And now we have a we've create have another space here where my husband is gonna build another shelf for the latest bins to go in. If you come around this way, these boxes hold jewelry items. So I have a little box. Again, they're numbered J1, J2, whatever such. And they have the numbers of the items are on the top. And each item, each piece of jewelry is in its own box. And that's also numbered. And now I just got that one out of order. So that's that. And then there's just some extra supplies. And then over here, I've set up a nice little works. Oh, this is the dog. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> about to step on the dog. This is Louie. Then over here we have some, these are some more item, items in here that are that are on consignment from a certain seller, I mean person, consigner. 
And then I set up a nice workstation here so I can do packing, at least um, a lot of packing here. And then these bins over here have um, extra padded mailers, extra bubble wrap, packing paper, things like that, that I can access there. Also, another great benefit of this table is that at Christmas time, our house, we don't really have a space in our house to keep all the wrapping supplies out and I have three big bins of wrapping supplies. So at Christmas time, I just left the wrapping bins under the table and I made people come out here <laughs> to wrap their gifts and even me. And I sat here and wrapped gifts and it was actually nice to have the stuff not in the house. But I gotta tell you, it was a little cold, a little cold. My hands got a little cold, but it worked. And um, this is what I have so far. So we're just working on electricity, which is you know a big investment. So that's coming next. And that's about it. Hey guys, welcome to my edition of Store Your Stuff. <laughs> At least that's what I'm gonna call it. So um, I'm just gonna walk around and show you the room and where we store our items that we have now, as you watched with the previous episode, these things have been put into inventory. So they're tracked through the system. My system, because I work for Libby, is the platform Simple Consign. So I have the ability to print out barcodes. So we use those barcodes and put them on our shipment bags with each item, and then we organize it here. So let me show you. If you come around here, we have this rack and we use this rack for dresses, men's dress shirts, and what we do is put our barcoded labels on the hangers here, and that way we know what item it is. So this is where all of our nice dress shirts and dresses go, so we keep them on a hanger here. Then, if you move around, you come over here. Nick, you might need to back up a little, my cameraman. This is where all the other items are. We keep our shoes and boots up top, and then I'm gonna let us kind of switch and let Nick kind of pan around. And the shoes also go over here. And then each bucket down here, as you see, has a letter. And we actually have them in inventory as to what items go in each bucket by letter. So on our barcode on the UPC in the system that we use, the UPC will have this letter in it. So when it goes and it sells, we see the letter D and we know that item is located in bucket D or basket two or basket three. And that's how we manage that. So then if you come around this way, a lot of our shoes, Nick had fun building a tower and putting the shoes in boxes already. So they're ready to roll when they sell. Jewelry is here. We have our swimsuits up here. We have more shoes in the bottom area. And then these next two shelves have random items, pillow shams, other items like that, all that good stuff. And they go all the way up the shelf into there. So right now, this is our storage area. I'm gonna bring you over to this bucket just to kind of show you how this works. So here is bucket H. Inside of it, we have every item inside and we just tape the label here. And that way, as you flip through, you can easily just look at the labels and find what you're looking for. I do not use the clear bread bags. I know a lot of people use those so that, so that they can see the item, but I prefer to stick with only using one piece of plastic because I try to be very anti-plastic. So we just take the time instead of being able to visually see the item to just look at these tags and be able to find them. That way we pull them out and they're ready to ship. Put our little sticker on and roll with it. So this is how we do it. And I thank you for coming and joining me in my storage area. Wow, y'all, that was really cool. I loved seeing your different spaces and I feel like I was there with you. <laughs> neat. Yeah. That was neat. cool. It's cool. So those that are listening on podcast, you really need to head over to YouTube so you can get the full visual and watch that because I think it's good. So basically, as you see, we all have different setups in our homes, different places and ways, but we do keep a couple of things similar that we recommend you need to start out with. Libby, do you mm -hmm. want to touch base on those couple of things that we think are just uber important for anybody starting out? 
Yeah, I think every, um, the number one thing I really recommend that people do is um, should each item should have a designated unique identifier, whether it's you go in order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, whether it's a barcode, whether it's a, you know, randomly generated sequence, um, but just track each item with an independent, it's not tied to anything, it's just a number for that item. Now, my system does it automatically. So you see me print out the barcode label. So everything automatically, when I enter a piece of inventory, it has um, that. But if you don't have that, please leave room in your spreadsheet and give each item a unique identifier. As you saw that Tiffany does. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing I would say is to uh, leave room, leave a column in that spreadsheet, leave something that you can identify where that item is. Because yes, if you're just starting, you may have a couple items, you may have one bin. And it grows more quickly than you probably can realize. As um, you saw. <laughs> as you just saw, <laughs> things can get really wild. Mm -hmm. And um, just leave room so that you can track or you're thinking ahead of, you know, bin numbers or room numbers or bag numbers or something. Leave room to, to designate that when you're ready. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's great. And we'd love to get your comments and hear from you on, you know, you may have other ideas that you didn't see in our videos that you do. And we'd love to hear that and see how you do it. So always share. Um, and you can share that in the comments below. You can share that with us on social media. You can share that in our community group. So um, if you join our community group. And speaking of that, we need to talk about what's going on in the community. Libby, you want to fill us in on some things yeah, there? So our community chatter. I know Tiffany usually does the community chatter because she's our community manager. Um, but this week was a little bit different for us. And um, there were two things that went on this week that were really exciting. So instead of in our community, we kind of branched out uh, to the reseller community. And we were asked to speak at um, Ecom Chicago at their meetup. Uh, so we went the other night and we gave a presentation all about consignment and we just met some really cool people. Some of them did consignment, some of them were resellers. And we talked about why every reseller should be consignment ready. And if you've listened to us, you know why we think every seller should be consignment ready. Um, but that was a really neat opportunity. The other thing um, I did was I went on a brunch with Diva. Rhonda, if you don't follow her, it's the Pink Diva Studio. You're missing is, out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she is, she's an amazing person. She's a real connector and she's real connected to the community, but she's also a ton of fun. She's I was gonna say awesome. not only that, but yeah. she's so much fun. She is mm -hmm. so much fun. She's yeah. just a light, I think. I love her. Yeah, so that was really fun to reach out and uh, and connect with the Pink Diva Studio and uh, do brunch with Diva this week. And that was on Instagram. And I think she mo moves it over to her YouTube channel too. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much this week we did things a little differently. Now there's been a lot going on in the community as well as Tiffany can attest to. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to highlight was we've been getting a lot of great feedback on our YouTube on our YouTube videos. And um, we love your comments. It really spurs us on and it's inspiring. So uh, one of our followers, Paula dot Paula Dodd. Barnes um, always has the nicest things to say. And um, she is actually not a consignment seller, but she is a reseller and she's interested in getting into consignment um, and gathering information about it. So she put this comment and I'm just going to read it because it was just so nice. And this was on our photography episode. It said, great information. Totally agree that pictures have to pop. Molly, the iPhone pick tips are terrific. I am still old school using a Panasonic, Panasonic Lumix that Uncle Griff had recommended at an eBay radio party in, party in Vegas a few years back. Agree that adding all the images you can totally, adding all the images you can totally makes a difference. Round of applause to Tiffany for her wonderful photo lab. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, go see it. <laughs> wow, I need that jewelry set up now to get motivated to clear out some jewelry. Well, someday. Thanks so much, ladies. Hi, Oreo, LOL. Oreo is Tiffany's cat. If you didn't, <laughs> if you didn't watch that video and you listened instead, had a cameo in that episode. Yeah, a cameo in that episode. Um, so that was just really great feedback on the photo on the photo episode, and we really appreciate that. So thank you so much, Paula. 
Love it. Love it. Not great. So if you guys enjoy hanging out with us, chatting with us, spending time with these ladies of consignment chats, be sure to subscribe, follow, like, all that good stuff. You can find all ways to connect with us just by heading over to consignmentchats.com. And then you can join us in all the platforms that we are hanging out at. Yeah. And we'd love to hear from you and have you join us. Yeah. So until next week, ladies. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, wait. Okay. <laughs> cheers. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Look. Look. The, the, oh, wait, I, Tiffany. Match. I, match. <laughs> I match. You do oh. match. You do. I match. Yeah. She's wearing the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thanks for joining Libby, Molly, and Tiffany, the ladies of Consignment Chats, as we talked about all things consignment. To learn more and keep chatting, find Consignment Chats on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Facebook, and Instagram.